Hey, today I'm going to be talking about the importance of technical SEO and why it's critical for securing your number one rankings. Now, you hear sometimes that technical SEO isn't so important. And I will say on certain websites, it is not. And places like SEMrush and even Ahrefs and different platforms have kind of hijacked the term technical SEO by putting all kinds of automated reports that just give you critical issues that probably aren't critical. That being said, technical SEO is critical. It is in a very important part of the recipe when it comes to SEO. And I'm gonna share with you today why that is the case, showing specifically how certain technical SEO issues are also just on-page issues, but just the way that the website in terms of development and tech contributes to on-page SEO. And if you're talking to an SEO that says on-page doesn't matter, you are clearly talking not to an SEO, but somebody trying to scam you. So I'm gonna drop into the reasons technical SEO is important and how you can use it to scale your traffic. So although you can get into the weeds with technical issues and sometimes SEM rush makes you think you have all these issues when they're kind of fluff, one of the critical things where we can see on page is in e-commerce. So these are on-page technical SEO issues because these web pages, like electric bike, just a random example, these are automatically created. And so the heading tags for these keywords and these internal links and all of that, these image alt text, the different factors that you as an SEO know are critical they're influenced by the technology of the website. And so we can see the H1 is automatically applied as electric bike. And then the different titles are aligned as H3s. I do like to see this, um, especially if you don't have a ton of products. Um, it can depend on the space, but for a limited number of products, I love to see them as H3s. And normally you would have those as just normal text a lot of the times. And so changing a technical issue or a technical opportunity even and changing all product names from, you know, maybe a span text to an H3 can improve traffic very quickly for a website where it applies to all pages. And you have these uh, technical issues. So 2000 pages that not, it will only be category pages, but still important. Um, you also have breadcrumbs. And breadcrumbs are very essential for the internal linking structure on a, a e-com site. And now this may be correct. I don't know. Um, already, I'm not seeing any link to the electric bikes page we were just on. Although perhaps it is somewhere. I'm not going to come to any conclusions. But already we see their internal linking isn't as good as it could be because of technical issues. The breadcrumb structure is not using this top level page, which ranks for e-bikes. So I'm assuming it's probably one of their biggest terms. It's linked right here at the top of the navigation. That breadcrumb structure is gonna need a developer to fix it. So it's a technical SEO issue, but it's very important to rankings. Already you can see that there is a ton of quick wins we can apply to thousands of pages using technical SEO. Simple stuff like, is there an H1 you know, our product names, heading tags, or at least that can depend. But, you know, are you using heading tags where you should? Are product pages having the correct header structure template? And see, they aren't. They're not using an H1. Very quick wins to fix technical problems. And now this is an easy thing to just track. If you changed all these to H1s and you changed all of the product names to different heading tags, you'll often see a direct impact on traffic especially if the heading structure is messed up on these e-com pages. But this is also the case with error pages, 404 pages, and redirects. Any of those kind of issues are gonna be very critical for any website in SEO. It's very good to fix those up and give Google a good crawling experience. As we've learned from people like Core, who is a great, great SEO expert, Google needs to optimize expense for them they're trying to give the best result for the cheapest cost with a trust in the website. And so by reducing the number of crawl errors and by cleaning up the website, so it's a very nice structure for Google to crawl, you are going to get more love from them. 
It's that simple. And technical SEO is not the be all and end all of SEO. And that's why some people get a little bit confused on, you know, just fix your SEMrush audit score to 100 and you are going to rank number one. That is a lie. It's not true. But it is a good start. You want to have a clean foundation, especially on e-com for your website. From there, you can start optimizing the pages, adding content, adding more modules, adding video, making sure it's a good user experience and having a ton of SEO content and keywords everywhere on your page, all across the product page and all across the headings. And of course, in the SEO title tag, there's a lot of opportunities here. Just wanted to quickly make this video, let you know that technical SEO is important, especially in e-com, but also in all niches. We see this in crawl budget optimizations, mentions from Google themselves and other places. So this is just my belief. Let me know what you think in the comments. You guys can debate, you're all SEO experts. So maybe you're one of those guys who just cares about content or just backlinks. Personally, I like technical backlinks and content. I love all of it. And to me, that's what's shown me results. So thank you. If you are an e-commerce store or just have an SEO project that might be interesting to me, then reach out in the comments on Facebook, LinkedIn, anywhere you want. I also have a Calendly. You can schedule a call with me. You can see my case studies on my website, whatever is most comfortable for you. So thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day.